Hi there, so um, number three is all about Philip Martin and Philip Martin has uh, been used across the world in terms of his amazing clip art, uh, an absolute genius in what he produces um, and I have to say a, a, such a, a big heart because he's actually given his clip art uh, for, for free to teachers around the world to use on the you know in classrooms or um, on their websites or product or and the material they produce uh, as long as it's non-commercial okay um, and you can uh, I'm sure you've probably used this here in your classrooms before uh, it's absolutely brilliant uh, from nursery all the way up to I'm um, post primary obviously and uh, it's still fantastic for for use in many of the materials that uh, I, I use as well too I have to say so very very impressive uh, so what you do you go to philipmartin.info and you'll be able to see all his uh, amazing art and the clip art as well too uh, if you go into the clip art section let's show you that again so the clip art section is under here so it's philipmartin.info the clip art section is right here and if you go into that there you'll be able to see the library of clip art that he actually has and you can see it covers so many different things as well too so you've got sports you've got mathematics science animals and um, social sciences religion everything is, is there for you to to look up as well too so um so you can see the library of different things it's all broken up down here so atomic structure for example if you look into that um, and you can see the various types of images that uh, are available so there must be thousands of things within this um, if you go into let's see or science to let you see a few others so there's thousands of different images that he has very kindly produced and allowed uh, for us to use in the classroom and um, so um, I can, I'm sure you agree it's absolutely top class to be able to see um, the amount of things that are actually available for us as teachers to be able to use alphabet charts okay um, I'm just going to see if I can actually find yeah just to, in case the restrictions here okay so so obviously it's not for commercial use um, and it's uh, uh, it has to be used you know for, for educational purposes uh, entirely as well too so you can see down here though it's you know it's free for classroom teachers to use in their classrooms for student worksheets blogs school websites and other non-commercial uses okay so you can't use this use us in anything that you go on to sell on different websites as well too um, but I think it's absolutely uh, phenomenal as I'm sure you'll you'll probably agree as well too so I'd encourage you to go and look that up and certainly use it in uh, the material you're you're producing for your classes hopefully this is useful thank you